Poetry Hack videos have become a whiskey craft buddy favorite. So I'm back again today with some of my best kept secret Dollar Tree products and hacks perfect for DIYers and home decorators. You're watching Whiskey and Wit. My name is Whitney and a huge thank you to Helix for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. Another huge support of this channel are my Whiskey Craft Buddies. I am so thankful that you are back again this week to DIY with me. And if you're not already a craft buddy, you can join us really quick. Just head down, hit subscribe, and you won't miss a future video. Now let's get into the hacks. If you leave me with one thing today, it's that these containers are a must buy if you are a crafter. I absolutely love how they help me organize my craft space. I label them, the lid snaps shut and it keeps everything contained. I can find what I need, I can see through them, but they're also still fun and they look like they should be in a creative space. I also love any other of these clear containers from Dollar Tree that the lid snaps shut. That way you're not gonna worry if you drop it on the floor, your stuff's not gonna go anywhere. Some of their lids don't snap and I avoid those. I also love containers like this with different sections that you can organize things. These ones in particular that look like shower caddies are perfect if you don't have a dedicated craft space. You can load it up with things like paintbrushes, glue sticks, twine, the glue gun, things that you're going to use often but don't need it out all the time. You can grab this and take it to any part of your house where you need to get a DIY done. These are another thing that I found this year that I absolutely am obsessed with and they are these book containers. I labeled the back of them to store a variety of different things in my craft room. I will have the font information linked down below for these labels, but from printer paper to cardstock right underneath my printer, it keeps everything organized and I also love the fun colors. When I shared my hack for using Rit Dye to dye wood beads, so many of you asked if you could use food coloring. I wasn't sure, so I wanted to test it out, and you guys, this is a game changer. I added some Dollar Tree food coloring to a solo cup with a little bit of warm water in the bottom, and each of the containers came with a recipe guide, so it tells you how many drops to use for which color. I did red, which was just true, like six drops of red, and then I also did an orange mixture. I dropped some beads in there to test, and I let them sit for about a half an hour. Then I just scooped them out with a spoon, put them on a paper towel. I got rid of some of the excess and let them dry. And this is great. They're ready to be strung up and they give kind of a stained look, which I really, really like. Another way to color your beads if you want a more opaque look is to grab some bags at Dollar Tree, throw your beads as well as a little bit of paint, the key is to not overload the paint, into the bag, swoosh it around, and you can always add a little bit more paint. Then all you have to do is leave the bag open to dry. You can string them up and it's way quicker than painting them by hand. If you're a crafter, I'm sure you've seen these hot glue finger protectors in the craft section, but what about these in the nail aisle? These are actually to take off your like no chip manicure, but what I like to use them for is for hot glue. They're a lot bigger. They cover my finger pads a lot better and they're not as tight on my fingers as those hot pink ones, which I think is a win all around. Now, if you don't want things on your fingers, you can use a silicone spatula. I learned this from my friend Jennifer. Her channel will be linked down below. You can use it to press it down and then peel off any hot glue. Reusable gloves are also a must buy for me because I can use them for staining as well as spray painting. And then when I'm done using them, I just sit them outside in the sun or in my garage. I just let them dry. I can put them away for next time and it's a lot less waste. I have a few different furniture pieces throughout our house that I don't want to ding or dent our walls. So I love this felt pack. You get so many different sizes and options from Dollar Tree. I cut them down to size. I stick them on the back of things like blanket ladders, full length mirrors, and it saves your walls tremendously. If you're a messy crafter like me, you're definitely gonna wanna use this next one. Grab yourself a plastic hanger and chop the center off. I shared this as part of my summer hacks for camping or for pool parties, but this is also a game changer for crafters, DIYers, and hobbyists. You can hang up your paper towels, you'll be able to rip them off, and this is also great to put in your craft space or in your garage if you're tinkering out there or working in a shed, game changer. So many craft buddies have asked for an update on my son Finn and if you can believe it he just finished his first week of preschool. Great sleep is so important for him to get the most out of it and so that put us in the market for a new mattress for him. I did a ton of research and the one that kept popping up from recommendations from publications, doctors, sleep specialists, even other parents was the Helix Kids mattress. Now I had heard great things about the Helix Sleep Adult mattresses but I didn't even realize they made a kids mattress. Helix Sleep's premium mattresses in a box ship right to your door and it's easy to unbox, inflate, and use. 
Not only are they assembled in America, which I love, but Helix Kids mattresses also are made without harmful chemicals and they go through extensive testing for lead and phthalate to ensure that kids are sleeping safe. Finn is growing so fast and I really liked that the Helix Kids mattress had two sides for age appropriate sleep support. The first side is for kids three to seven who need a firmer bed to help with spinal support and growth. And then the other side is for kids eight to 12 and it's softer for when they want a more comforting bed. Its hypoallergenic cover is great for moisture wicking and airflow and the water resistant finish and odor fighting microbiome shield make it durable in the case of any accidents. Finn has had the Helix Kid mattress for about a month now and he's been dozing off faster and staying asleep longer. If you're in need of a new mattress in any size, not just the kids, you'll wanna check out the Helix Labor Day sale going on right now. Helix offers a 100 night risk-free sleep trial on all of their mattresses, not just the kid ones. So head to helixsleep.com slash whiskey and wet for 25% off your Helix Kids mattress, plus two free pillows during this Labor Day sale. All the information you're gonna need on that is down in the description. And while we're on the topic of Finn, he definitely approves of this next one, but this isn't just a kid's project. Grab yourself one of these canvases, and then I decided to do a kid's one, but you could do really whatever you want. You could do logos, you could do sayings, you could do different sports teams. I searched for a Clifford the Big Red Dog coloring page because that is our vibe right now at our house. I uploaded it into Design Space, and I'm using the Magic Eraser to get rid of any of the white areas that I don't want. I also had to use the actual eraser to get rid of the border, but once I did, I could save it as a cut image, import it, and then cut it to size on some heat transfer vinyl. Remember to mirror your settings if you are gonna use heat transfer vinyl, but once it was cut and weeded, then I just used my little mini press to apply it right onto the canvas. I saw this on TikTok from DIYaholic and I thought it was genius. She did them as party favors for her daughter's birthday, I believe, and I thought Finn would absolutely love this, but how fun would this be for fall or Christmas to do a friends like wine and paint night? You could even do some really fun adult coloring pages if you wanted to weed those all out. I just had to make sure that I was giving it some pressure underneath by carefully using a towel. But then once it was set, I could peel it off and we've got two canvases that Finn can color on and decorate. And I decided to just let him use markers, but you could really let your kids do whatever dependent on their age, which is great, super custom. And you can get a lot of those niche characters that maybe you can't find merch of. Now, what about the markers? If you have a little kid like me, you know the caps are always going MIA. So I decided to grab some of these business card holders and glue the caps of all of these markers that I grabbed also at Dollar Tree to the inside of this container. The great thing about this then is he can get the markers out, but he can't get the caps out. So when he's done, we know right where to put it back. You know what color goes with what because the caps are the right color. He can color the day away and then we're not going to have like 65 markers that are dried out because we lost the caps. If you have a busy family and want to keep everybody on schedule, this next one is for you. Grab a photo frame, whatever size that you want, but it has to have a glass pane. Come home and print out a calendar. I got this one on Canva. I will share these as free printables over on my blog. I printed one as a five by seven, one as an eight by 10, and I did that by adding the images to a Google Doc, and this is how I size all of my printables. I then click image options and on the side size and rotation and you're able to size it to what you want. Then to make sure it stays where you want on the page, you're gonna go down to these options at the bottom, fix position on page, and then you can twist it to make it sit wherever it needs to be. Once everything is sized, you wanna make sure to click use system dialog box because for some reason right now there's a weird setting with Google Docs. But once you do that, it will print out. All you have to do is trim it, put it in there, and then you can write right onto the glass. So for the small one, I plan on using it as a menu option for the week so we know what's coming up for food. That just helps us stay on track there and use the groceries that we bought. And I also suggest using the bigger one for an actual calendar. You can color code, you can do a ton of different things to help keep your family on track. And I would definitely recommend using the name brand markers because the Dollar Tree markers don't work as well, but the Expo ones wipe right off. Another toddler approved DIY hack are these little pump up dispensers that you can find in the nail makeup aisle. I like to put a little bit of paint in them so that we can pump them up and Finn just has a little bit to work with if we're painting. I also like to keep one of these in my craft room with black and one with white paint in them because it's nice to touch up any of my stencil signs that I make. 
and the cleanup is super easy you just wipe it off with a wet paper towel and it is good to go for next time and the lid i haven't had any issues with it drying out on me if you're looking for literally the easiest way to display a printable in no time at all, it is a clipboard. I love to print out eight and a half by 11 sizes of my printables and put them right on the clipboard. And it's just a new, fun, different way to display your printables versus putting them in a frame. It saves you a ton of time. And the other thing too, is you could quickly switch them out as needed. I really like this in the fall and Halloween because I feel like the brown border really works with it, but I've done it for Christmas as well. And and also because you are watching this video you get access to my fall printables for this year and beyond so be sure to head over to my blog they are all downloadable for free i've got these in my diy frames in my office just to really give me a fall vibe this time of year so be sure to head over there if you're interested in grabbing some of these free fall printables if you have a two-story house, do your stairs look like ours? It is literally a catch-all and you never know whose stuff is what. Everybody acts like it's everybody else's stuff and it sits there for days. Well, I decided to grab some of these dish pans from Dollar Tree. I grabbed one for each of us. So my husband, myself, and Finn. I added just some quick little decals and black vinyl with our names, put them right on to the stairs and they take up way less space and it works because then you can load them up, anybody can put anybody's stuff in there, and then when you're headed up to your room or office or whatever, grab it, head up, and you are good to go, less stuff on the stairs to trip on. If you work with a lot of ribbon in your DIYs like I do, this is a great way to keep them all centralized, especially for fall and Christmas. I don't want them rolling all over my table. So I grab these plastic containers that have holes in them, and then you can either grab bamboo skewers or dowel rods. You just wanna make sure they'll fit through the center of your ribbon, They'll spin around the dowel rod and keep everything organized. A few more of my favorite things to grab at Dollar Tree are these wood rounds. You can't beat the price at $1.25 for wood door hangers. I also love to grab things like these paper plates as well as tablecloths because these are great for painting. The plates work really good as a paint palette and these are great to cover your tables. Another thing you can use to cover your tables or just to use in DIYs in general are these craft paper rolls. And I recently discovered these little Barbie doll clothing containers. Once you unzip them, you can take out the marketing and it's literally a great storage bag. I get a ton of questions all the time about Dollar Tree vinyl and the Cricut supplies. The vinyl isn't the best thing, but it's great to practice on, but I would definitely recommend their tools. All of these tools are literally an exact duplicate for the Cricut brand ones, but they are like a tenth of the cost. So I like to grab some extras of these so I have them in my craft space, especially weeding tools and scrapers. You can't have enough of those. All right, who else hates cleaning paintbrushes as much as me? I use them all the time, but it's been such a pain. I like to grab these makeup brush cleaning mitts, or you can do one of these facial scrubbers. You just want something with texture, as well as some foam hand soap. If you already have foam hand soap at home, you don't need to buy it. It will be free to you, just use what you have. Put a little bit on that makeup little cleansing pad and get all of the paint out initially, and then you can continue to make sure that your paintbrush is fully clean, which I love. Now, what if you have some that are dried in there? I've also done this for dried Mod Podge. Soak it in a little bit of water and then do the same process once it's softened. And you can even get set in color out of your paintbrushes. Over the years, I have had mixed reactions to Dollar Tree florals, but here are some of my favorite hacks to make them look like a million bucks. First with these fall ones, I grabbed a mixture of short stem as well as these long stem pumpkins, and we're going to kind of Frankenstein them, but it's gonna look amazing. On the pumpkin ones, I'm pulling off all of the green leaves just because I feel like that doesn't give it a high-end look, it makes it look cheap. And then what you're gonna do is pop off those really pretty bold color maple leaves and put them where those green ones were. So on any of those little nubs, it's like just Tetris. You can, you know, put one here, put one here, but they will literally pop right on how they popped off the other one. And then you just style it and you're good to go. These stems look so much better together than they ever did apart. And it's so easy to elevate those Dollar Tree florals. What about everyday or spring florals? You can do the same thing. So I grabbed some of these kind of dogwood stems. And again, those green leaves, for some reason, they just look really, really cheap to me, but you can just pop them off. And once you do that, you go ahead and you just set them up 
and they look so much better. I have this in this really fun vase that I got from a local boutique. I just bent the stems out so they looked not so like rigid and bada bing, bada boom, just removing those green leaves will do wonders. These little cherry blossom dogwood ones were weird to me. I thought they were really pretty, but the bottom part was green and the top parts were brown. So silly. So I just popped off the top parts, took the green parts outside and spray painted them so they actually looked like they were all one piece. You reassemble them and just a little bit goes a long way, especially with spray paint. You only needed like an eighth of the can to do that. And it really just makes it look so much better for those $1.25 picks instead of just all the different colors and crazy leaves willy nilly. One of my favorite ways to elevate a space is to set a table. And what I like to do is grab some Dollar Tree bandanas. And now these are not gonna act as actual napkins, but they are great for decorative napkins. You can just get some really cute little napkin rings like I did here, those are from Target. You're gonna fold your little bandana into a triangle and then fold it into a long strip like I'm doing here. You're gonna fold each end over kind of like a cancer support awareness ribbon and then you're going to slide the one tail as well as the middle end to create a bow. You can go ahead and fluff it, put it right on a charger which also came from Dollar Tree and you've got these set up around your table. It's going to look like you tried really hard but on a budget. Another area where I love to make it look like I tried hard but not have to spend a ton of time or money are gifts. I love to stock up on these Dollar Tree bags when I see colors that I like because when something comes up, I am able to create custom bags. I made these bluey character ones for Finn. I also made this congrats, you totally nailed it for a friend that got a promotion. And it's really hard to find a cheap bag that looks cute but also gives the sentiment that you want. All you have to do is cut it out on vinyl. I'm just using paper transfer tape to apply it. You put whatever you want on these bags and it is absolutely perfect to celebrate someone close to you. This next one is for my spray paint lovers. You are going to either wanna grab a Lazy Susan or one of these plant rollers. Then you're also gonna need some cooling racks from the kitchen section and we're gonna make a makeshift Lazy Susan to help you spray paint. Just pop them together like so. You can put your items on top, give it a quick spray. It's gonna keep it up off of your surface and then you can also twist it to get to the other sides before things are dried. I also like that the cooling rack is not hooked to the bottom because then all you gotta do is pick up your item. You can let it go dry and put another one down and just keep it moving. I really needed some hanging storage in my craft room, so I decided to grab two Dollar Tree plungers as well as some of these hooks for the wall. Started by removing the rubber and the stickers from the wood pieces, and then I used tin snips to cut my two wall broom holders into four pieces and made sure that everything was gonna fit when it came to my plunger handles. Now you could easily use dowel rods as well, but we are keeping this Dollar Tree one-stop shop. Then I decided to spray paint mine white so it all matched, but you could also stain yours or do whatever color works. I then applied the two hangers to my plunger hook and then pushed it to the wall to make sure it was the right sizing. And once those are done, you can hang up whatever you want. I'm using some plant hooks also from Dollar Tree and this has been a game changer since I did this. I'm able to put things like tape and transfer tape and cleaning supplies and everything right there by my filming setup. It has been a game changer. Did you know that Dollar Tree is literally a treasure trove for items that you can screen print? If you have a Cricut, I can show you how to create your own custom screen printed items. I've got a full tutorial about how to do that, make the screens the whole shebang down in the description so you can check that out. But Dollar Tree's got t-shirts, socks, towels, a ton of different things that I have made over with screen printing. I like screen printing better than heat transfer vinyl on shirts just because it lasts a lot longer. And a shirt like this that I made two years ago literally has not cracked yet and I wear it all the time. So I would definitely recommend checking that out if you're looking to make a little bit higher quality custom shirt. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, no worries. Let me show you how to do it as well. You're gonna grab a tea towel as well as a stencil from Dollar Tree or really wherever you get your stencils. And then some of this 3D fabric paint from Dollar Tree. 
I figured out exactly where I wanted my little design to be and I taped it down so it wouldn't move on me and I added some of this 3D fabric paint just to a paper towel so I could dab it off. The key here is to not drench it. You're going to stipple up and down and once you have everything covered, make sure you have something underneath it so it doesn't bleed through to your table. Let it dry in accordance with the package and then I also set it with some heat. Same quality as a screen print, but you can do it with Dollar Tree products. That's gonna do it for this installment of my Dollar Tree hacks. As always, let me know your favorite down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And also if you're new, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a future video. Also, if you're interested in the Helix Sleep stuff I mentioned earlier, and be sure to head to helixsleep.com slash whiskey and wit to get 25% off your Helix Kids mattress plus two free pillows during their Labor Day sale. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!